Yesterday, Rangers officially announced their first signing of the window, as Todd Cantwell was officially unveiled as a Rangers player. However, he won't be the only one coming through the doors this winter, as we have some big news with regards to a player that has been heavily linked to Rangers this window that we will share with you in today's video. Not only that, but we will also take a deep dive into Todd Cantwell and see what he can bring to this Rangers team, whilst also going over the latest Rangers news from the last 24 hours. There is so much to cover in today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys. Before we get into today's video, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. The Scottish Premiership fixture between Hibs and Rangers next month has been rescheduled to March. The clubs were due to go head-to-head -head on Saturday, February 25th, but the match has been moved due to Rangers' involvement in the League Cup final. Michael Bill's side take on Celtic at Hampden on Sunday, February 26th. And due to this final at Hampden, the fixture against Hibs has been moved to a midweek kickoff in March. Hibs will now host Rangers on Wednesday, March 8th, with a 7.45pm kickoff at Easter Road. A Hibs statement read, Our cinch premiership clash with Rangers has been rescheduled. The match, which was originally scheduled for Saturday 25th of February, and will now take place on Wednesday the 8th of March and will kick off at 7.45pm at Easter Road. The game has been rescheduled due to the fixture class with the League Cup final. Just a quick one before we get back into the video, guys. We are currently doing a January sale on all our Rangers merchandise. Just go down into the link in the description or go to rfcclothing.com. We do have new prints coming in February, but for now, as I said, shop the old collection, rfcclothing.com or go down into the link in the description. Let's get back into the video. Nicholas Raskin had his Rangers medical in London before finalising his contract details on Saturday afternoon, according to a report. The standard Liège midfielder is believed to have flown to England on Friday morning and then had his medical before agreeing the finer details of his move and signing a pre-contract on Saturday. Belgian outlet Le Soir say Rangers are yet to make contact with standard Liège over a deal to bring him in this January, but it's expected that a transfer will be completed over the next few days to bring him in before the end of the window. The 21-year-old hasn't played since November after being bombed out by boss Ronnie Dyla for refusing to sign a new deal at the club. Dyla wanted players who were going to be committed beyond the end of the season in his side and it means Raskin has trained and played with the reserve since then. It is suggested in Belgium that he didn't alert his club to the fact he was travelling to London for two days to undergo his medical and with the reserves having a game against John Gank on Friday evening that he didn't take part in. Raskin is out on contract in June and Rangers can get him for free, but it is believed it wouldn't take much to convince Standard to let him leave now, but Rangers are likely to pay a small fee. It took 23 days of the January transfer window, but Michael Beale finally has his first signing as a Rangers manager. Last night it was announced that Todd Cannewell had agreed a long-term contract at Ibrox, joining from his boyhood club Norwich City. Speaking to Rangers TV, Cannewell said, I'm delighted and I feel very proud. This is obviously a massive football club and I'm delighted to get going and get started. This is a massive club and there is a massive responsibility when you sign for Rangers to be a player that the fans want to see. They want to see a player that works hard and a player that can win them games, which is very important and that is something I'm hoping I can bring. Michael Beale added, I'm extremely happy to welcome Todd to Rangers. He's a player that is fully aligned with our playing style and we believe he'll be a key player for the club in the coming seasons. I'm looking forward to working with him on the pitch this week and integrating him into our fantastic football club. In this part of the video, we're going to take a deeper dive into Cantwell and see what he can bring to Rangers. After two stop-start seasons and now age 24, with things seemingly have gone stale at Norwich City and a contract expiring this summer, Cantwell needed a move to reignite his career. Having impressed during Norwich's Premier League campaign in 2019-20 and the subsequent promotion win from the Championship, Cantwell's trajectory looks set to travel upwards 18 months ago. However, a change in manager and a downturn in the club's fortunes coincided with his own form. The Englishman appeared to have fallen out of favour under Dean Smith and spent six months out on loan at Bournemouth before returning to his parent club in the summer. He was asked why his Norwich career had started to slide last year and Cantwell said, I don't know how long you got. To be honest, football is a game where things can change quickly on and off the pitch. I don't want to go into why it didn't work, but I accepted what happened, so I have to move on, and they let me go out on loan. 
Cantwell is a versatile attack-minded midfielder, at his best when carrying the ball forward under pressure, drawing opponents in and progressing play. As shown in the below heat maps, he largely got on the ball by the touchline and left half space during the 2019-20 Premier League season. When Norwich won the championship in 2020-2021, Cantwell was afforded more license across the attacking third. In either graphic, activity in the defensive half as well as the final third is noticeable. This isn't an attacker who waits for the ball to get into dangerous areas and then makes an impact. Cantwell is a ball progressor and creator, comfortable receiving in deeper positions to drive his team up the pitch. The fluid position Bill would afford Cantwell at Ibrox would appear to suit the 24-year-old perfectly on the surface. We've already seen in the new manager's early months a tendency for players who previously hugged the touchline to pop up all over the pitch in a bid to keep Rangers unpredictable, freeing up the likes of Ryan Kent, Fashion Sakala and Malik Tillman individually. In 2019-20, Cantwell notched seven goals and provided two assists, and the following season he scored six, having turned provider for seven. However, last season, Cantwell played just 14 full 90 minutes over the course of the season and recorded no goal involvements. This season has continued in a similar vein, with just 12 full 90-minute matches and no goals or assists to date. Although it's fair to draw reservations looking at these numbers, there's more to it than meets the eye when considering Cantwell's style and circumstances. Numbers from previous years show he can provide a legitimate goal return, something that should trend upward if playing in a more possession-dominant team. Cantwell isn't an explosive dribbler who'd want to constantly isolate out wide, even if he's quick enough when running into space and hold the ball in tight spaces. If playing from the left, he'd likely be best placed with an overlapping fullback, providing whip and creating movement inside the pitch. The Englishman looks at his most comfortable when receiving the ball in close proximity to others, then able to manipulate his body and create space to attack or base his movements on defenders' actions. He's a solution finder, powerful carrier, and a capable ball progressor. This is a detail he alluded to during an interesting interview with The Athletic. He said, I always base my touches off what defenders think I'm going to do and almost make them double think. Sometimes you don't need to beat a man to get past a man. If you manipulate your body one way and open up a space to play a ball through, the job is done. You haven't necessarily gone past him and beaten him. I do look at it a bit like that. It's not about strength. It's not about pace. It's about body manipulation. Dribbling is essentially moving while protecting the ball, keeping the ball close. I never really knock it and run as such because I feel like you lose a bit of the control. This helps to explain why Cantwell is at his best in tight spaces rather than isolated out wide against the fullback. He bases his touches on the room his movement creates. He wants to retain control and use intelligent body orientation to beat his man. His style feels very Beale-esque. The manager is a fan of players you can twist and turn, take the ball in tight areas and create spaces for others elsewhere, while possessing the ability to outplay. Rangers fans, what do you make of the signing of Todd Cantwell and do you believe you'll thrive under Beale at Ibrox? Let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. Please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. We're also currently having a January sale on all our Rangers merchandise, so do go down into the link in the description or go to rfcclothing.com. Thank you. I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.